Welcome back to Mac Music Review. Today we're in we're in like a little tree house. It's pretty cool. I'm actually at UNG and um, this is pretty neat. Today we are going to be looking at the EP Loose Cannon EP Volume 1 by Cannon. That's that's the name of the EP. It sounded kind of weird. It sounded kind of awkward. But that's the way it's that's that's what it's called. Cannon is a very little little heard, very little known Christian rapper who who's never really had a hit, never really had a lot of popularity. He's, he's not a Reach Records rapper, so if you're wondering why you haven't heard of him. He's also not a Humble Beast rapper, so he doesn't have that critical acclaim or that fan base either. He's kind of in that awkward gray area where, where no one's ever heard of you. And this EP, uh, Loose Cannon EP Volume 1, is actually the debut anything from Cannon. The debut EP, this is before his debut album, we released a year before his debut album, Madhaven. So this is his first ever appearance to the world. This thing has one guest artist on it, it's Derek Minor on the last song, Loud Music. And um, Derek Minor's actually the guy who owns the label. The, the label, I think it's called Reflection Music Group, and it's a very small little heard of Christian rap label. And um, yeah, Derek Minor's on that song. But, um, this album only has six songs. It's very short. I mean, not album. This is an EP, so of course it only has six songs. The popularity is literally nothing for this thing. Nobody knows this exists. It has one review on all music, and it's my review. So, no one's reviewed. I'm literally the only person. I literally, I think I'm the first person to, and first and only person. I maybe I don't even know if there are any reviews for this on Amazon. I might be the only person who's reviewed this album, this EP, so... Wow, you're looking at the one and only. The music on this album is, is, is old. The best word to describe the music on this album is it just sounds outdated. It sounds like what rappers thought music used to, like, like, this sounds like a rapper who discovered electronic music and they thought they were on like the cutting edge of music and so they just kind of overdid it, but it's like that really old sounding electronic music that sounds really corny and dumb. That's what the music on this record is. That's that's what this this record sounds like. All these songs are on the, the cutting edge of electronic music, but in 2012, but it was like pop electronic, so it's all the really bad sounding stuff. And and that's the music on this album. On all the songs. The lyrics on this album range from from downright silly and goofy to serious and actually the majority of these lyrics are pretty serious the lyrics are very overtly christian it's kind of reminiscent of like an old lecrae album with the with the amount of christian lyrics on the sound the overtness of the christian lyrics but oh boy you can just look at the titles of the songs and just be like this is old and this is weird they, they do this he does this thing where I, this is like something that like rappers in the 90s and the early 2000s did where they they purposely misspell things and like either to be goofy or cool or to be a gangster i think it's to be a gangster and he does that on this ep the second song is called oh Lottie, like spelled l-a-w-d-y and that's the chorus it just says oh Lottie, oh la lodi over and over again my favorite is the third song in terms of titles it's called Yeen Bout Dat Life. Yeen Bout Dat Life. And then of course the fifth song is called Let M Have It. E-M. It says an Eminem diss track. No, I'm kidding. What's that noise? This EP is... You know, Andy Minio in an MTV interview said something that was controversial. That, that got people kind of mad at him. Some people were mad at him when he said this. But Andy Minio once said that Christian rap is corny. And when he said that, I think he was talking about this album. <laughs> this album and old Christian hip-hop. This thing isn't even that old. It's 2012, but it sounds so stinking outdated. I don't think anyone would listen to this and actually think this is cool. This is, this is really, really 
outdated. The music is just very corny, very dumb, just just outdated and not high quality at all throughout this entire EP. This, this, this thing doesn't sound good. The only song on this thing that really doesn't sound terrible, I would say, is the first song. Like, it's tolerable. It, it doesn't sound amazing, but it doesn't sound... It doesn't sound terrible. It doesn't sound very good either, but not terrible. The lyrical content of this of this EP is is somewhat serious on some of these songs. Sometimes it's very goofy, like on the last song, Loud Music. It's, it doesn't really say anything. It's just kind of a, a turn-up song, a hype-up song. But most of the lyrics on this thing do have a message, and I think some of the lyrics are admirable. Some of the lyrics are good. He does have his you know, heart in the right place on some of these songs when being, you know, outward about his faith and stuff like that. But, and then there's, then there's other songs that are just kind of, uh... As I already mentioned, with the cringe-worthy song titles, the hooks on this album are basically, he just repeats the same thing over and over again. So, on Yeen Bout That Life, the chorus is, Yeen Bout That Life. Yeen about that life. He just says that over and over again. And it's so stupid. It's so ridiculously stupid and corny. And and that's what these songs are. They repeat the chorus. Oh, oh Lottie. It just says the chorus over and over again. And it's just so dumb. And there are other songs in here which have really serious topics. There's like, especially the greatest example of this is Say Yeah. Which is such an upbeat title. Upbeat chorus. The chorus is like, say yeah, if you can relate. But the song is about, is about porn. And, and masturbation and stuff like that and and how that's bad and, and being addicted to stuff like that but but the, the the chorus is say yeah and it's super like upbeat music and it doesn't fit at all with the lyrics it's it's really awkward and it just while the lyrics are are good it's it's kind of canceled out by the corny chorus and the corny everything else not 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 really feeling this EP not not really feeling it if I had to say one thing about this EP that's really not terrible is Cannon himself. Cannon's delivery, he's, one of the things that makes Cannon stand out is his lightning fast delivery and he doesn't really do all that lightning fast delivery stuff on this EP, but he's, he's fairly good at rapping and he's fairly good at rapping on this project, but that's about the only redeeming thing. The, the only redeeming thing is his actual rapping and the lyrics, and even the lyrics are not amazing. And, and the music is very bad and outdated and corny. I'm gonna give this EP two stars out of five. Welp, there we go. I'm the only I'm the only review for this entire EP in the entire world, maybe. I don't know if there are any reviews on Amazon, I might be the only one, and I gave it two stars out of five. So no offense to Canon if he ends up seeing this thing. I think he's alright. He's not my favorite Christian rapper, but he's he's okay. And um bashed him pretty hard. Thanks for watching.